My name is Casey with POS Highway and today we'll take a quick look at gift cards in NCR Counterpoint for retail and wholesale. Gift cards are always a thoughtful gift. If you're like me, I'm not always the best at picking the right gift. So gift cards are a go-to during the holidays and for birthdays. For the store, gift cards can be a huge source of additional revenue and in many cases pure profit just because of how many go unredeemed or eventually expire. We'll start off by assigning a customer to this transaction. Keeping your customer information is ideal for future marketing campaigns, tracking sales by customer, and a host of other tasks. Of course, there are other ways to add customer information without manually typing it in. Let's create a quick profile for our customer. I'll enter her first and last name, and we'll put her phone and email in as well. Now that we have a customer selected, let's dive into how gift cards work in CounterPoint. I'll select gift cards from the menu. As you can see, we have preset gift amounts already pre-programmed at $10, $25, and $50. You can set up as many of these as you like. We also have an open amount gift card in case you don't have the amount the customer wants preset. Let's say Maya wants to buy a $50 card and a $25 card we'll just click the buttons that say 50 and 25. She would also like to buy a $200 gift card, so we'll go ahead and click the Open Gift Card Sale button and put 200 in the amount field. As they're rung up, you can scan and swipe the physical gift card to authorize and validate them. That's how the system will know which gift account the card belongs to when it is redeemed. Of course, if you have preloaded gift cards on store shelves, they can be swiped or scanned and finally authorized upon completing the transaction. Let's finalize the sale. Maya would like to pay for this order with cash, so we'll hit the pay button, select cash, and enter $300 that she just handed me. We present her with the receipt, whether it's printed or sent via email, along with $25 in change. We're all good to go. Next, let's quickly look at redeeming those gift cards. Maya gave one of her gift cards to her sister Mika. Mika stops by on a different day to use that gift card Maya gave her. She shops around her store and picks out a few products. She's ready to check out and presents me with the gift card that she got from her sister. Now I can swipe the card and the $25 will be applied to the balance. But there is more than one way for us to look it up in the system. The gift card lookup feature shows us a list of gift cards most recently purchased. In the real setting, you would look up the gift card by name, or transaction ID, who it was issued to, or an account number. This is also helpful if you need to reissue a gift card in case your customer loses theirs. Once we've located the right gift card number, we can go ahead and apply the balance like so. We see that the amount due is $59.93, and we'll go ahead and apply that $25 gift card. Now there's still a remaining balance of $34.93, which Miko will choose to pay in cash. She hands me $40 total in cash, so I'll go ahead and hit the cash button and enter in $40. I'll we'll go ahead and press OK, and that completes our transaction. For a live one-on-one -on -one demo or training, call us today or visit poshighway.com.